welcome to nalla narasimha reddy group of institutions department of civil engineering myself suresh kumar assistant professor in department of civil engineering in lecture 10 i am going to explain about whole circle bearing and quadrilateral bearing what is whole cir whole circle bearing whole circle bearing the bearing of a line is measured always in clockwise direction see when you are measuring in measuring bearings in whole circle bearing we measure in clockwise that is north to east east to south and south to west and west to again north we'll go in clockwise direction only we measure the bearing with reference to meridian will go in clockwise direction here the bearings vary from 0 to 360 degrees there will be a 0 degrees starts 0 degrees to 90 degrees 90 degrees and here the 180 degrees 180 degrees 270 270 degrees and 360 degrees so we measure an angle with reference to this 0 degrees 90 degrees 180 270 and 360 the prismatic compass is graduated in this system so whatever the angles we have seen in previous class we have seen that there will be a prismatic compass and surveyor compass so with the help of prismatic compass only we can conduct this whole circle bearings and the bearings system will be measured this is called oa so this is regarding this whole circle bearing now i will explain you about quadrilateral bearing what is this quadrilateral bearing we'll see now what is this quadrilateral bearing the bearing of a line is measured eastward or westward from north or south whichever is nearer so if you observe here if you want to measure an angle or if you want to measure an a bearing that bearing should be with reference to north pole or south pole whichever is nearer to that bearing will take according to that so whatever the angles are there in this quadrilateral bearing or it is also called as reduced bearing that is 0 degrees and here 90 degrees 0 to 90 again here also again in red south pole it will be 0 and it again it is a 90 degrees so whatever the angle you are measuring that angle should be between 0 to 90 degrees only whatever the angle you are representing whatever the bearing you are representing in this particular quadrilateral bearing that is always it between 0 to 90 degrees only we so if you suppose for suppose if you if you think it is a 60 degrees if i want to represent this angle that we, we it can be represented by north 60 degrees east by this i can say that this this angle is at first coordinate that is northeast coordinate the angle is 60 degrees will represent here in quadrilateral bearing as like this so this reduced bearing can be observed by using surveyor compass by using surveyor compass only this is in the whole circle bearing and 
reduced bearing. So if you see also similar to quarter bearing, what I explained to you that is is show, is uh, is there obtained when WC can be converted into QB. We can also convert it, that whole circle bearing to reduced bearing and reduced bearing can be converted into whole circle bearing. I will explain you in the coming classes. Now, what is fore bearing and what is back bearing? See, whatever the observations you are taking, okay, if, you, if I want to take an A bearing, if I want to take an A angle, if I want to take a, these are, the, it is my station A, if it is my station A, and, and one more station at B, one more station is a, is B. Now I have taken my the surveyor is at O point O. The surveyor is at point O. If I want to take this measurement, okay. If I want to take a measurement of the station A, if I want to take the measurement of station A, if you, if you are taking the forward. That is called four bearing. If you want, if if you if you have taken this station A bearing, that is called four bearing. If if you rotate and you have taken the reading of station B, then it is called back bearing. Okay, this is called four bearing and back bearing. The difference will be one eighty. If you want to convert that four bearing into back bearing, the FB plus R minus one eighty will gives you the back bearing of that particular angle. So if I want to measure here the whole, this is a whole circle bearing. I want to know this particular theta. I want to know this particular angle theta value that is RBC. What is that angle? So I know up to here north to south pole is 180 degrees. Up with reference to this station A, that is that is 220, the 220 minus 180 will gives you south 40 degrees west. That is it, the coordinate is southwest coordinate. In the southwest coordinate, I'm getting the angle A is 40 degrees. So I'm representing it as southwest 40 degrees. If I want to find the only whole, whole circle bearing, that is 220 degrees. Our angle theta is 220 degrees. It will be represented like this. The, you can convert that whole circle bearing to reduced bearing and reduced bearing can be converted into whole circle bearing. See, here also this is a conversion of whole circle bearing to reduced bearing. If I want to convert the whole circle bearing to reduced bearing, that is 360 minus alpha will gives you the north-south. The whatever the angle you are getting here, that angle will be represented in the northwest. Uh, in between that, it will use the coordinate. This is the alpha minus 180 will use the angle uh, that is nothing but south theta w will gives you the particular that coordinate. This is the simpler conversion of whole circle bearing to reduced bearing. These formulas will help you to convert this whole circle bearing into reduced bearing. If any problem is given to you, you can easily convert by using this conversion formulas. See, the conversion of reduced bearing to whole circle bearing. The 360 minus theta, here also theta 2 plus 180. Whatever the angle you are getting here, theta 2, the theta 2 plus 180 will gives you alpha. Here also 180 minus this alpha will gives you the, the whole circle bearing. That will be the your value, easy conversion of reduced bearing to whole circle bearings. These are the conversion formulas will help you to convert the uh, re, whole circle bearing to reduced bearings and reduced bearing into whole circle bearings. Okay, we'll see uh, problems in the next class on this whole, whole circle bearing and reduced bearings. Thank you.